Hey everyone, it's Carly Hall and today's tutorial will be a super quick tutorial on how to download a font to your computer and then bring it into Cricut Design Space. So for this tutorial, I am using my Mac computer and it will look very similar on a PC, but it will look very different on your devices like your Android devices or your iOS Apple devices like iPads and iPhones. So this tutorial is just for using your computer or laptop and then I will do a different tutorial on how to work with fonts using your devices. To get started, you are going to open an internet browser window. So I like to use Google Chrome, but you can use Safari or any browser that you'd like. After you open up your browser window, you are going to go to defont.com. Defont is a free font website, but I wanna call out that these fonts are for personal use only. And that means that you can use these fonts for any personal projects, but if you intend to sell them, you will need a commercial license. So make sure to pay attention to your licensing so that you don't get in trouble with the font artist. So you can search different fonts, you can look at the different categories, or you can download one right off of the homepage. So since this one is on the homepage, we will just click download here. And you can see just how many people have downloaded this font. Yesterday alone, 12,592 people downloaded that. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, you will see this zip file pop up. Go ahead and click on that. And that will unzip the file. Double click on the font. We don't need this anymore, we can minimize this. And you'll see that this is a bargain demo font. So you're not getting the full font because we are just downloading the free version. On the bottom right, it says install font. Go ahead and click on that. And then it will install into your user's file on your font book. So we're in the font book right now and it automatically will go into your font book. Now I have my Cricut Design Space already open. So if I type out my word, since I am already in Design Space and I try to find that font, you'll see that there is no bargain font in there. So what you have to do is you actually have to quit out of Design Space, then reopen it. And then we'll go to a new project. And now when we search for bargain, you'll see that that font comes in. So we'll type out our word and Cricut's kerning is not kerned together. So you will have to adjust the letter spacing. And I have a full tutorial on how to adjust letter spacing and make it look all beautiful. And then we'll weld that together so that it becomes one shape. So there is our new font all welded together. Now again, this font is for personal use only. So make sure that if you were to add anything and then sell it using this font, you would need the commercial license. Now, a one other thing I wanted to point out was this website called wordmark.it. A lot of people ask how I choose my fonts. And you'll see that this will show you all of your fonts on your computer. If it's not showing you your fonts, you may have to activate a plugin, but you can click on the ones that you like. So then that way you can see, oh, okay, I like that font, I like this font. When you're working on choosing a project and you're trying to narrow down which font you wanna use. I will call out that when you add a new font to your computer, it won't automatically add it to WordMark it right away. So, wordmark.it will take a little bit of time. So I just added this 12, 212 font about, I don't know, five minutes ago, and it's finally showing up now, but you'll notice that if I search for bargain, it's not in there yet. So it does take a couple of minutes for wordmark.it to see all of your fonts, but then once it does, you can scroll through and this is a really great resource. Some people even print it out so that they know which fonts they like. Um, but I like to use it when I'm working with last names. So for example, the halls, and I wanted to make a sign for me and Ryan, then I can go through and see how our last name looks in all of these different fonts. And it just, it's really helpful 
as a resource to see all of those fonts that you have on your computer. Now this will only show the fonts that you have on your computer. It does not show the Cricut fonts um, that are in a Cricut Design Space. So let's go take a look at our font that we just added again. So we just added this bargain demo. The other thing um, that you will notice is that all of these fonts go into this bucket, the system font. So anytime you add a new, comp new font to your computer, it'll drop into this category. So that's just another thing to pay attention to. If you have any questions about downloading fonts, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the other tutorials. Or if you have specific questions about working with fonts, there is a Facebook group that I have. It's called Cricut Crafts with Carly Hall, and we are always in there answering so many questions. So jump into that group and get your questions answered. All right, I'll see you in the next video.